Hey, what's up, everybody, and welcome to another episode of News Dose, where we give you all the latest news in the game industry. And today, a few rumors have started to swirl around. As you know, the Game Awards show is right around the corner, so of course these rumors are inevitable by this point. But according to a recent leak, there may be two unannounced Metroid games in development right now. And who knows, one of them may actually end up showing at the Game Awards show. Now, we also have another rumor about what Rockstar is working on, and if you were expecting to hear about another Grand Theft Auto or even a Red Dead Redemption, well, it sounds like they're working on something completely different, and maybe they're working on those too, but they may be working on something else, and it sounds very exciting. There is a few other things as well, including Phil Spencer's stance on virtual reality, and EA has a pretty high standard for cloud gaming, so stay tuned for that as well. But let's first discuss this rumor about Metroid, because I know you Metroid fans have been waiting long enough. Well, this leak comes from Leaky Panda, which has gotten a few leaks correct in the past, and here Leaky Panda says that Nintendo is planning to release two unannounced Metroid games over the next two fiscal years. One being the Metroid Prime Trilogy, and the other a Super Metroid Remake. And this may actually remind you of what happened last year where there was a rumor going around when Imran Khan said that the Metroid Prime Trilogy was going to be announced at the Video Games Awards show, but it ended up not happening. However, Imran Khan actually doubled down on this even after it was oddly absent from the show by saying that the Metroid Trilogy had been done for a while now, but Nintendo decided to delay it because Metroid Prime 4 ended up restarting development completely. And I actually do think that that's very plausible, as it would make sense for Nintendo to try to bring momentum into Metroid Prime 4 after the Prime Trilogy would release. So it would be fresh in everybody's mind. And if this ends up being true, it sounds like this will be officially announced at the Game Awards show. But of course the rumor does it in there, because Leaky did mention a Super Metroid remake as well, which would be similar to Samus Returns. And I've seen people kind of debate on this saying Super Metroid doesn't really need a remake because it still looks great all these years later, and well, that's true. But I think we need to look at this with a different lens. The reason I say this is because when a remake comes out, it also brings renewed interest from not just the old fans who played the original, but it also gets the new generation excited that never tried it before. And of course, Super Metroid is one of the best Metroidvania games to ever be made, so I think this does make sense. And we also know that the series producer Yoshio Sakamoto has already stated that he wants to make another Metroid remake after the success from Samus Returns. So I think a Super Metroid remake is inevitable, and I think this could lead to great things beyond just a remake, where maybe, if it does well enough, Nintendo may think about doing a completely new 2D Metroid game, which would be very exciting. It's kind of like the Zelda franchise where you have two different types of Zelda games that coexist with one another. You have the 3D Zelda games like Breath of the Wild, Ocarina of Time, and Twilight Princess. But then you also have the isometric Zelda games like A Link to the Past, Link's Awakening, and the Oracle games. So maybe Metroid could do the same thing where they could coexist and have both 2D Metroid games and 3D ones. Plus, we've seen a bit of a resurgence in Metroidvania-style games in recent years. I mean, we've seen Hollow Knight and Orient of Blind Force, which are just excellent, and there's plenty more. So I think it would do really well. What do you think, though? Would you like to see a new 2D Metroid? And also, what do you think about the Metroid Prime Trilogy and Super Metroid coming to the Nintendo Switch? Let me know in the comments below. In other news, we also have a rumor about Rockstar's next game, and no, we're not talking about Red Dead or Grand Theft Auto. This game is apparently a completely different game that was shelved years ago, but based off a job listing, it may have been revived from the dead. And this is the part that's very exciting, because based off the job listing, it will be a game set in medieval times. And I don't know about you, but I absolutely love this setting. And to think about what Rockstar, one of the best developers in the entire industry, could do with a game like this just blows my mind. Rockstar has kind of made a name for themselves with being arguably the best open world developer. And as we saw with Red Dead Redemption 2, they also excel with storytelling. Even Grand Theft Auto V's story was done very well. 
they almost seem to make no sacrifices with their open world games and there's a lot of things you can do in those worlds. Then from a graphical standpoint, they do a great job there too. And just the attention to detail. But the one thing that I have never really cared about in Rockstar's games was the combat. I'm just not a fan of the lock-on mechanic, and I know you can turn it off, but it just feels clunky. But with a medieval game, I don't really think you would need to do that. The combat would be more melee focused. I mean, it's kind of hard to tell if this will actually end up happening right now, but the job description very specifically talks about medieval architecture style. And even though that doesn't 100% mean it will end up happening, I still like the idea, and I think it'd be cool to see what Rockstar could do with a medieval setting. Moving on though, Phil Spencer talked about his stance on virtual reality, which I actually found amusing because I ended up reading this article right after I posted my video about Xbox and virtual reality just yesterday. But anyways, Phil Spencer stated that VR is not a focus for Scarlet and that fans aren't asking for it. Well, that may sound like Xbox Scarlet will not have virtual reality, but he never once said they will not support VR, and I'm still going to stand by what I said yesterday. As I said then, I do not believe Xbox is creating their own VR headset, but I however do believe that they will be supporting external third-party VR headsets such as the Oculus Rift S. There's just too many things that point to this happening. The big one for me though is that Microsoft filed a patent for a VR mat, and it very specifically talks about it connecting to consoles. I just don't think that that's a coincidence and I think we will hear about them supporting VR headsets at some point later down the line. I guess we'll see what happens though. Now the last thing I want to talk about is EA because they had an interesting thing to say about cloud gaming and how it would bring in 1 billion more players. Now this statement isn't incredibly new as we have kind of seen Microsoft echo this statement over the last couple of years when talking about Project X Cloud though they never actually said that it will bring in that many players. Xbox instead said that there is 2 billion gamers and that they want to find a way to reach them. But with EA, they seem to be more confident that they'll absolutely achieve it. See, I'm actually a supporter of cloud gaming, but I think that the first goal should just be getting cloud gaming into consumers' hands and ironing out all of the little issues, because it's not going to be absolutely perfect upon release. I mean, this is going to be a work in progress. But I also think we're still years away from it being widely adapted by the mass public. I think it will pick up over time, but that is one thing that EA did state, was it does seem to be more of a 10-year plan. But hey, might as well shoot for the moon, right? Anyways though, that's it for this episode, but let me know what you think in the comments below, and don't forget to hit that bell notification and subscribe button. Peace out.